vector out the state xr plus we have an n cross r dimensional state and we can apply linear projection and excite the system with exponential inputs and shifts and weights are the unit now there is a theory which says that if we have a linear signal generator given by this diagram so where the, the, uh, the uh, p, q and x0 are from the minimal system that is p and q are observable and q and x0 is uh, controllable such that the input generated ut is persistent signal then if we have a v solution from the linear system to the equation then there is a model thus derived match the steady state of such an integral or equivalently in this diagram, uh, if we have a, a large scale dynamical system and we have a reduced order model formed by solving the linear system equation, then the outputs of the both the systems will match. This is the for the linear systems. So if we talk about uh, extending this idea to non-linear dynamical systems, if we have given a large scale dynamical system, like I said, where this F and H are non-linear matrix from R and to R. Uh, an idea to create a reduced order model will be to use a non-linear killer projection given by this xt is pi times xr, this projection pi. So we can easily formulate this xr dot and this y. So if we use the concept of movement magic as was done in the linear case, we can have a non-linear signal generator here, where this p and q are now non-linear mappings from r and r r, which is much less than n to r. So uh, in non-linear case, we get this non-linear partial differential equation, which we have to solve to implicitly match the movements. Yeah, the state vector cannot be factored out easily as we saw in linear systems. So we have a state dependent non-linear PDE that we have to solve. And uh, we apply a non-linear projection here, and this corresponds to exciting the system with user-defined inputs now, where the inputs can be chosen according. Now the uh, idea of movement matching method that I saw uh, show you the following is systems can be very well extended to the non-linear systems. So if we have interconnection of a non-linear signal generator with a non-linear dynamical system, then the reduced order model that we get by projecting uh, this pi that we get from the solution of non-linear partial differential equation. With the outputs of both, uh, sorry, the steady state of both the flow order system and the reduced order system will match. That is uh, Again, as was in the linear case, if we have a non-linear dynamical system large scale, then if we have a reduced order model, which is obtained by solving the non-linear solution partial differential equation, uh, where this p and q and x naught, there are certain conditions to it. Uh, the, the condition being that uh, this p and q are observable and uh, these are smooth mappings. Then it can be easily shown that the outputs, the steady state of the output of such interconnection will match. That's the error will go to zero. Now there are some problems when we uh, try to find a solution of a non-linear partial differential equation. So when, uh, when the common method is to uh, use the usual final analysis of the partial differential equation, but the problem is that it yields a large number of ODEs. So for one partial differential equation, you have to solve a system of ODEs, which is computationally intensive. So also one more thing is that non-linear projection is difficult to handle, even in non-linear model equation. And the theory for it is not much better. So there are some simplifications recently being proposed. The first is to use a linear projection instead of a non-linear projection. Uh, this has been done before in model order reduction, non-linear model order reduction. And second is to time discretize the correlation points. So if you take the first simplification, that is to use the linear projection, capital V, instead of a small V, then we get a system of non-linear algebraic equations rather than a PD, which can be easy computationally but not that intensive. And the second, uh, yeah, uh, one more problem is that uh, if we do a linear projection, then we get an underdetermined system of equations. That is, we have n variables for n cross r and rows. So, uh, what we can do is we can consider the column wise operation of the equation. So, depending upon the different types of signal generators, we can have a non linear signal generator, which is non linear p and non linear q chosen by the user. So thus, thus uh, the non-linear stress equation comes like this. We can have a linear signal generator, maybe, which uh, corresponds to exciting the system exponential inputs. Uh, here uh, it's a diagonal matrix and a column matrix. And there is a special kind of signal generator, uh, zero signal generator, in which this x dot sg will be zero. So x uh, sg will be just the initial conditions. 
These are the three kinds of seven generators that one can use. And the second simplification was to time discretize. This is uh, inspired from the POD community, copper optimal decomposition community. What they do is basically they discretize the time in order to make things quite easy. So accordingly, we can have three kinds of seven generators here. So for the non unit case, we have the subscript PK, where K runs from 1 to capital T, many time instances. So again, we can have non unit seven generator, we can have a unit seven generator. How do you know time discretization is needed for a zero seven generator? Because it's already a state independent partial generator. So this is the algorithm for uh, to obtain uh, reduced order models based on the idea of non-linear moment action. The algorithm uses the uh, two four groups are going here. So the first uh, we are having uh, I running from one to R. This is the number of certain generators that we can use, or the number of shifts. And this K is the number of time incidents per shift. So this algorithm runs R times K, non it solves R times K non-linear. Algebraic equations rather than solving the PD. So, this is a Sylvester equation, this is a matter implementation, this is a Sylvester equation, simplified Sylvester equation that we need to solve. And a Chipo bean is also provided in order to uh, you know, make the algorithm make, be quite fast. And the columns of V can be generated, which are the projection matrix, can be generated by using any Newton scheme, molecular coiler scheme. And then we get the columns of the projection matrix, and then uh, what we can do the redundant columns of V can be truncated as per the dominance of the singular value. And finally, we get the V projection V on which we can project the higher order dynamics on a lower dimensional manner. Now, the reduced order model that we obtain using moment matching uh, is of this form, where this AR lives in reduced dimensions. However, this term F times V and LMM into XR still is in the direction of original system. Because we are taking basically linear combinations of the projection matrix. So it's always uh, again coming at that of the original form. So there are uh, a technique known as uh, time discrete empirical interpolation method. That's to further reduce the order of the reduced order system. That's to make its online computation quite fast. The idea is to use an interpolatory projector instead of an orthogonal projector. Uh, what we do is basically we take time snapshots of the function, the non linear function, which still lies in the original space. Then we calculate the interpolation indices up to n, we find the residual, and we stack up in the columns. It's a pretty uh, straight algorithm, it's just like a grand shift process. So now coming to the numerical simulation of uh, burger situation. This is the uh, 1D viscous burger equation. This equation has been studied quite a lot in dimension applied uh, mathematics like uh, traffic flow, uh, flow dynamic activity, gas dynamics, uh, stochastic, nonlinear acoustics. So it can have initial conditions and modern condition. Here the parameter mu is the viscosity parameter, which is related with the Reynolds. So after uh, doing the usual final animal analysis of this PG, we get an n dimensional state space equation where this matrix A, H, and N and B are given like this. Uh, X, uh, this is the tonical product. This is the kind of non-linearity that we have. So as you can see, the dimensions of this A depends on the uh, number of final elements that we use while discretizing the FPD. And these uh, a small a, b, f are given like this. In the parameter that we have chosen, a mu of 0 0.05 parameter. And the seven generator chosen was this. And h plus this. Uh, yeah. And uh, we chose a single single generator with 101 time distance. And the number of interpolation distances are chosen as 10. This is the output response of the burger situation when excited with the test signal of exponentially to the power minus t. The full order is 220 and the reduced order is 10. And the response is compared with the proper optical decomposition, which is the most famous MOR technique. As you can see, we are able to capture the dynamics with the reduced order system. This is an error profile between POD and an LMM time. As you can see, it is quite low to marginal error. Now, this is the response for another test sector, which is 0.5 sin P. Again, the full order is 220 and the reduced order is 10. And uh, again, you can see that we are quite easy to uh, capture the entire dynamics for the entire simulation time. And this is the error profile for sinusoidal inputs. 
Yeah, now coming to the statistics, as you can see, the full order system, order being 220, it took 294 seconds. Uh, by the way, this CPU time was recorded on an ISAM machine, uh, we went to 4GB RAM, running the MATLAB 2018A. So, uh, the full order took 294 seconds to simulate. Then the reduced order model form using proper optimal decomposition. With the reduced states being 10, it just took 4.9 seconds. But the time taken to drive the reduced order model took 294 seconds, which is roughly the same as the full order system. This is the problem in the proper optimal decomposition. Uh, proper optimal decomposition, uh, in, uh, basically what we do is we take time snapshots of the functions, then we collect it into matrix. Then we do the single value decomposition and we project it. However, the proposed scheme and element diagram we call it, uh, it just takes 6.75 seconds to derive the reduced order system. This is almost uh, 40 times reduction. And again, in the online, as we, since we have used another algorithm to reduce the online diagram. So from 4.9, you can see it goes to 0.7 seconds. Plus the overall CPU time for makes quite fast. And the others being the same. And uh, this is for order 40. If you go for more order, it will take more time. 11 minutes. And this is the table for sinus algorithms. Again, we can see the savings in time in simulating the 1D order situation. And we can take more higher order. This is for 10 and this is for 40. So the overall CPU time has reduced quite a lot. So what we can conclude from this study? Uh, non linear model order prediction is a uh, very attractive in the field of research right now. Uh, linear MR problem is uh, very well posed. Uh, the problem has been solved quite a lot, but there are still scope in non linear model order prediction because a lot of work is still uh, has to be done. Yeah, the choice of signal generator. What kind of signal generator one can choose? Uh, I can say that in, uh, if you talk about, if you compare this method with proper optimal composition, for proper optimal composition, you don't need, it's a kind of black box kind of thing. You don't need a pure information about the system. It's the data driven. However, and then you know, is uh, you have to have some knowledge about the system first. The traffic signal generator is basically uh, the signal generator design must excite the important dynamics of the non linear system. Yeah, future work and we've developed a generalized theory for this and we've investigated suitability for parametric. You know we have a parameter in this burger situation. We chose a single parameter and we derive a system of ODs for that. So what we can do is we can have a parametric space uh, in which it's idealized and we can choose different values of mu and correspondingly we can have different dynamical systems coming out. So we can have uh, its suitability of an LMO in the parametric space also. These are the selected uh, some of the references that we have concerned with that. So uh, what if the system matrix A is uh, singular, Sorry. then how will you reduce the singular. singular? That we have written by SI minus A inverse in the moment matching. So, yes. yeah. so uh, what if uh, that inverse does not exist, then how will you uh, proceed for the yeah, model order reduction? Then there is a technique in uh, linear MOR, we use similar value decomposition to cover the pseudo inverse. There are certain systems in the universe of A doesn't exist. So what we can do is we can convert a zero inverse instead of finding an actual inverse. There can be a little bit there, but there is a technique that we can type for such kind of problems in which we can deal with similarity. And same can be translated for non users.
that can be if you do a more fine crystallization, okay. but the problem becomes more complicated. Intensive. 